Our first presenter tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is Marilyn Bruno, who has the Accor Green Non-Toxic Household Cleaner. Ladies and gentlemen, Marilyn Bruno. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Acor means the sea in Latin. I know it's a hard word. Aqueous, Acor, it means the sea. And this was our inspiration. Because we're losing the war on bacteria. You know that there are only a few things that can remove bacterial contamination and infection. Scrubbing, physical removal, heat, sterilization. But these are short-term remedies. So over time, uh, chemicals called biocides, meaning antimicrobials, antiseptics, and antibiotics, were invented in order to extend the time between physical removal. And you know that this doesn't work either. And there's a big reason why, and it's called biofilm. You have biofilm in your mouth. It's called plaque. The, underneath the plaque, the little bacteria are creating a shield. It's impenetrable. You know that you can brush and swish with an antiseptic, but you have to have it scraped off because scraping works. But scraping is short term. Now the chemical companies and the pharma companies don't want you to know that their products don't work anymore. So they are overloading products with higher and higher concentrations of biocides and antibiotics. And what this has done is created a toxic load on our ecosystems and on our health. And unfortunately, MRSA and every single one of the pandemic and urgent threat bacteria are biofilm formers. This is not a coincidence. This is why they are hard to kill. So ACOR's founder said, I know microbiology, I'm a PhD microbiologist, and a marine microbiologist, and the ocean has all the answers. So she made a discovery of 17 novel marine microbes back in 2002 that produce chemicals that remove biofilm. This is a huge breakthrough. However, that was 2002, and it took 15 years and over a million dollars to get to the point we are at now which is a portfolio of over 70 chemicals that all remove biofilm. This is really a tremendous discovery and one that has cost us a great deal of sacrifice. But what a remarkable thing that they all remove biofilm, are non-toxic and green, which is of course very important because if you look at the competitive landscape, all of our competitors have products that are toxic and don't work. And in the meantime, the regulators are finally being pressured into banning the most toxic biocides. Now here we are in a room with a carpet, fabric seats, we're wearing clothing, we're drinking out of plastic bottles. They all contain chemicals called endocrine disruptors. These are antimicrobials that are disrupting your endocrine system or your hormones. This is dreadful. The impact on our ecosystem is dreadful. And li literally every living organism now has endocrine disruptors in their bodies. ACOR can replace the endocrine disruptors for starts. There are hundreds of them used in literally everything we touch every day. Cosmetics, shampoo, etc. So what do we do with this bonanza of 70 molecules? If the PowerPoint was working, I'd show you some fancy photos of how you have Staphylococcus aureus, a nasty um, bio, uh, bacteria that's everywhere, creating thick biofilm, literally instantly. It's in the air. It forms on a titanium plate within 30 seconds after sterilization. This is telling you that these contaminants are literally everywhere. 90% of the hospital acquired infections are biofilm related. But you've got this thick biofilm and ACOR removes it in less than 10 minutes completely. And compare that with a photo that I'll show you later of penicillin at a thousand times the dose tolerated by humans. And that's the dose you need to achieve our results. So we're being third party validated because this sounds unbelievable. So FDA sent us to Lonzo, which is a life science company, and they said, hey, nothing else known can do this at non-toxic doses. They sent us to USDA. They've just proven that it works against gram-negative bacteria, fungi, and also does not trigger resistance. 
And so how do we get to market quickly? We looked at the big bioside market, a $600 billion market, of course. We're a tiny company. So how to approach this? And we went to the lowest hanging fruit, which is the, are the markets regulated for starts under the Toxic Substances Control Act, the lowest regulatory barrier in the US, also called TUSCA. So within that category, we have cleaners. And here is the first prototype of a household cleaner that works, uh, completely sterilizes the surface, non-toxic, contains no biocides, completely natural. So we are very excited to be working with a, one of the green consumer product companies that's assisting us in, de in developing this and wants to help launch it maybe next year as we develop our patent uh, portfolio along with our discoveries. And uh, we own everything. We're basically two people who've created this company. The founder is Cynthia Burzell, microbiologist, and myself, just uh, slogging along, raising money and writing checks. But we're supported by 12 seasoned advisors who have expertise in the different sectors that we're talking to. And uh, uh, phenomenal outsourced partners uh, in the chemistry side and uh, the legal side. We're winning awards right and left. Uh, NASA included has, uh, we won a national competition in the life support category because every astronaut returning to Earth has a biofilm infection. We're working with DOE and many others. So our go-to-market plan is to create a prototype and sell it either B2B, which is our current plan through a company like this green uh, product company, or B2C eventually, internet, consumer, directly to the consumer. Uh, we also have a licensing model because some of the end use products are difficult for us to manufacture and uh, we want to draw on their expertise and clout with, um, with the markets, uh, market penetration. Uh, we also have government sales because as a woman owned small business we're already getting solicitations <laughs> to supply the cleaning agents for every Air Force base in the world. So we have these opportunities and we're pursuing them. Uh, one of our current angels has posted a challenge to us to raise a million dollars and he will match it. So our goal is to raise a million dollars and we know how to spend it. It'll be on product scale up, uh, expanding the patent estate, hiring a new CEO to replace me and a business development person to start driving this to the next chapter of the company's life. So we're looking for talent and we're looking for money. We'll take, of course, any portion of that million dollars and he will match it because we need to keep moving forward. So uh, the ROI, of course, is very high. If we're successful with five uh, licensees, we should hit uh, 60 million in five years. We are a very uh, juicy takeover candidate for some of the bigger uh, uh, cleaning companies that are snapping up the green technologies right and left. And we look forward to working with you. We're here in J Labs. We're one of the resident companies uh, here in La Jolla. And hope you will come and speak to me later. Ask me lots of questions now. Thank you. We have several patents on the chemicals. We have not yet filed a patent on the formula. Are you required to put the contents? It's a great question. This is one of, this, the, the, the industry is full of tricks. So if you use less than 1%, you don't have to declare. Uh, our, we can now have an effective product with less than 1%. So, so we have many options that we can also tell you about later. I have a law degree, so I put it on and off periodically. I, I applaud the work with the USPTO because the original uh, patent was on the natural chemicals, which was issued. And it was then rejected because they no longer accepted patents on anything found in nature. So that was $80,000 out the window. Believe me, this has been a very long story since 2002 on how to crawl forward and uh, find our way to actually get to the point of commercializing something. 
Uh, the brass ring is the, the pharma side that takes FDA, which is uh, seven years and like $250 million. So <laughs> we're going for the lowest hanging fruit. Is it harmful for pregnant women? This is coming out non-toxic to an plant and, a and animal life. I would say if you swim in the ocean, you've swallowed plenty of this stuff because it's literally everywhere. The, the chemicals are in the ocean. They protect the s marine surfaces the way our skin has natural bacteria protecting our skin. So it's biomimetic in the, in the concept.